but maybe years and years ago, and some of you it, it was real years and years ago. <laughs> some of us have fond memories of high school, and I know there's some people who probably don't, but I'll tell you what, we have some fine young people here tonight who have graduated from high school either in the last couple of weeks, some are still yet to graduate. The Long Beach School District doesn't graduate until this week. Isn't that sad? <laughs> Everybody else is out of school with them, and they, anyway. So some of these people who are going to call up here tonight have not actually graduated yet, and some of them have. But what I would like is for those of you who are here tonight, who are seniors, graduating seniors, what I would like you to do is I'd like you to come, and I would like you to stand right here in front of the whole entire church. We know who you are, so if you're in the room, you're Please just come right up here and line up, line up as, as best you can. Aren't they beautiful? Want to give them another applause? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know that many of you got the insider in the mail at home, and we have some of the copies out front still. What we did is we, uh, we surveyed them, we gave them an opportunity to share about themselves. As you can imagine, most of their mothers are the ones who actually did the sharing. <laughs> and uh, we have here quite a list. And we're missing a few of our students for a number of reasons. Some of them had to work, some of them were actually out of town already on trips and that kind of thing. And some of them still haven't graduated, so they're, and some of them are shy, because they knew this is what happened to them, and they, did, they were just too shy. But for these, these seniors that we have here, what I would like to do is I'm going to read the whole list, and then I'm going to read a little bit about each one of these. And I've asked, I've asked Patty Berry to help me hand out just a small gift. What we've done is, uh, you know, we, we always would like to give these seniors something that they can remember, not only their time in working with youth with us here at the church, but this year what we did is we gave them a devotional that, that I would hope that they would be able to use for the rest of their life. Because if, if nothing else, with their experience at Life Center, what I really desire is that their relationship with God would be deeper as a result of their time with us. And I want it to be a thing, uh, the relationship, I want it to be something that grows throughout their entire life. Because if they haven't, if they haven't uh, developed their relationship with God, then I feel like we failed, that we haven't really done our job. And that's really my desire. So let me just read this whole list, and then we'll get to honoring these, these ones specifically. These are off the floor, in case you're curious. We have Jeff Atherton, Cassie Bates, I don't see her here tonight. Amy Bud is here, Don Crossway's here, Wes Cummings is not here. Kelly Dennis is here, Erica Festerman is not here. Regina, her sister, is not here either. Brian Flynn told me to be here, but I don't see him out there. Carrie Madlich, he's not here either. Scott Mulvaney, Adam Neary, Debbie Scoonover, Kelly Schuler, Brian Ewer, and Tiffany Benzan. So we have these seniors here. Now what I would like to do is, you got those? Okay. Now I want to read about these seniors. And if you wouldn't mind, I'm sure you'll be wanting to applaud at everything I say, but if you just hold your applause at the end of this. I'm going to start with the last one right here, with Kelly Schuler. So there, Kelly Schuler is graduating from Lakewood High School. Kelly's school activities include the Lakewood High School Color Guard Squad, the Madrigals, and Advanced Drama. She performed in plays such as The Music Man, Bye Bye Birdie, Twelve Angry Jurors, and two one-act plays. Her awards include certificates of articulation for completing five years of Spanish with honors. Okay, boy, no. She directed two one-act plays and was on the Junior Honor Guard. Kelly belonged to the Drama and Sad Clubs, a Students Against Drug Driving. She was involved in Student Senate Youth for Christ and is a Renaissance Card member. Her honors include being chosen to be a translator in an ESL class and the Best Actress. She plans to attend Long Beach Community College and transfer to UCLA to major in communications. She would like to become a translator. I'm going to go to Adam Neering. It's right here. Adam Neering is graduating from Cerritos High School during his high school years. He was on the principal's honor roll. He came a close second for such honors as prettiest eyes. <laughs> you, can, you can deal with her later. Okay. Most popular student, best dressed, and winner former king. One of the activities that he participated in was, here, was peer counseling. This group helps students work out personal or family problems. Adam played basketball in Life Center's basketball team. He also kept busy working in his family's antique business, janitorial business, and works in the automotive department at Sears. So if you need something. Oh. He plans to go to Cypress College to study business and computers. One of his teachers, Mr. Bomarito, was instrumental in sparking Adam's interest in computers and the business world. And standing next to him is Scott Mulvaney. Scott Mulvaney is graduating from Artesia High School. Scott's school activities include basketball until his injury uh, with, in his ankle. 
During his sophomore and junior years, he was enrolled in the, the Long Los Angeles Sheriff Department Sheriff's Academy. On June 24, <coughs> June 27, 1992, Scott graduated from the academy and worked temporarily at the Lakewood Sheriff's Station. In the fall of 1992, Scott had the privilege of touring Russia with the Life Center Handball Choir, where they played in concert halls and ministered to the Russian people in their homes and schools. It was the experience of a lifetime. His achievements include the principal's honor roll and receiving academic letters. Scott helped create the European American Club, a service club on campus for fundraising. After high school, Scott plans to attend Cypress College and transfer to a university majoring in police science or law. And we have Kelly Dennis standing right there. Would you want to wave? Thank you. <laughs> Kelly. Kelly Dennis graduated from Mayfair High School. She was very active during her senior, during her high school years. Her activities include show choir, drama company, tall flags, modern dance, and the school newspaper. Kelly won awards in music for Outstanding Alto and Best All-Around in Show Choir. Her drama awards were for the Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress. Kelly was the Optimist Club Speech Competition winner and was representative to the Hugh O'Brien Youth Foundation Seminar. She belonged to the California Scholastic Federation, Key Club, Environmental Science Club, and the Young People's Fellowship, which is the Bible Club on campus there. Kelly will attend Fullerton College where she will study fine arts. She wants to slow down and spend more time with her family. Kelly gives credit to her seventh grade English and history teacher, Mrs. Smith, for her love for performing. Mrs. Smith's interest and involvement during her years at Mayfair has left a lasting impression on Kelly. And standing right here next to Adam, that cool tie, yeah. <laughs> is Don Crosswhite. He's graduated from Lakewood High School. He's one of the ones who still is in school. Lakewood High School, he was active in the swim team, played water polo, performed in the high school play Hello Dolly. His achievements include getting a letter in swim and water polo. After graduation, Don would like to take an art ROP class and then go on to a trade school. And, and what, on the end over there? <coughs> He's graduating from Garden High School. She got a letter in swim and water polo and played the clarinet in the marching concert and jazz band. She has won multiple times in the Assembly Scott Fine Arts Festival and was our life, was our own, on our own Life Center Bible Quiz team. Amy plans to get her degree in music or education. And then right in the middle here, Jeff, Atherton <laughs> is graduated from Mayfair High School. His activities include um, during his high school years for freshman at varsity football and the track team. Jeff was president of the Young People's Fellowship at School Bible Club. For two years, he was awarded the Tracy Bemis Award for Art, the Blue Pride Award, the highest award for football, and won many speech competition awards. Jeff belonged to the Associated Student Body Cabinet, the Young People's Fellowship, the Speech and Debate Team, and the Literature Club. Jeff is part of the Life Center Handball Choir and Minister to Russia. Salvage has made a life-changing impact on him. Jeff participated in the Assemblies of God Fine Arts Festival from 1989 to 1991. He received superiors in short sermon and bell choir divisions. His plans following graduation will be to attend uh, Azusa Pacific University. He wants to get a job to help pay for school and to get a driver's license. <laughs> Three people from Mayfair have influenced and encouraged him to try harder and believe in his abilities. They're Rod Sanquist, photo teacher and Bible Club sponsor, Coach Carroll and Mrs. McCune, the principal. I would just encourage you, seniors, as you go out into this world, to make one thing a priority above all else, no matter what, no matter what you do in relationships, no matter what you do as a profession, that you make your relationship with Christ the priority, and that you endeavor and strive to deepen that relationship no matter what you do in the relationship. Since um, I know pastor prays all the time, but this is kind of a special time, and I haven't asked him about this before, but I would like him to come up and, and pray over these graduates as we send them off into their lives. Amen. In fact, I'd like to have, uh, not just for ceremony purposes, but really for prayer, I'd like to have the parents, if the parents 